Hey guys, Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video we are going to have a look at one more tool which will help you send follow up emails. So this tool is called uh, Woodpecker and uh, I will go ahead and show you how Woodpecker works. So let's first have a look at the pricing. So it says that uh, it starts with $40 a month for startup plan. And then Team Pro starts with $50 a month. It has A-B testing, unlimited people per month, and IMAP integration, email uh, throttling and human-like sending, follow-up automation, prospect space, and uh, all these features. It has a bunch of integrations as well. And then you have like an uh, enterprise plan as well. So let's go ahead and try out the Team Pro plan. So I'll go and click on Start Free Trial and enter my details. So I'll be connecting my account Deepak at pixeltrack.com with it. And uh, that's how we are going to send out emails through our pixeltrack.com account. So let me wait until this gets logged in. So there is a quick start guide here. I will just close this for now. And this is the dashboard. And there is a 40 day free trial after the next 150 test emails sent. So what they are doing is that they are giving you 150 emails for free, which you can send out to test out the system. So I will click on add campaign. So first I need to connect my email. So I need to connect my Google account. So I will select Google. Click on automatic correction and choose Deepak at pixeltrack.com. Click on allow. So now what this tool woodpecker will do is that it will send out the emails from my deepakatpixeltrack.com account. Uh, that's how it's gonna work. So I'll set up the from name here. Uh, we can add a signature if we want. Just click on OK. So now it says send from deepakatpixeltrack.com, Deepak Kanakraju. And uh, here is our first email. So, hey there, how are you? And uh, this is the first email that we are going to send. I'll just say this is Deepak here doing a test of Woodpecker. So, add condition. So if a prospect has opened an email more than five times, has uh, opened an email, has clicked more than or whatever the condition is, I can send out like another follow up email and then uh, I can add like multiple conditions. Then it asks me to add another email if I want. So this is just a sample, I'll just remove this. And then I have to add prospects and click on import. So I can import like a CSV file. So what I will do is that I will go ahead and create a CSV file. So to create a CSV file, I will go to drive.google.com. Click on Google Sheets. And I will say Woodpecker CSV. So I will just put email ID here and name. So let's say email ID is deepaksalem25 at gmail.com and name is deepak2. And this is just like a demo or a sample. So I'll also put uh, deepak at pixel track dot in deepak3. Click on download CSV. Go back here and upload this particular CSV file back into the system. So click on upload and import. So email required email. And I would say first name is the name. So it basically takes the header, email and name. And then it matches it here. And ignore first row when importing because first row is just saying that it's email and name. So first, note, uh, first row is not included. Click on import. 
so two has been imported zero duplicate found zero errors click on add so now we have this my campaign number two I have just put like one email and the next step is to just send it out so I will click on send so it says uh, the email has not been configured so let's just try adding the email again so hello from Deepak just add it one more hope this is saved consent so it says campaign is now running so this is how you set up a campaign and we have like two prospects we have zero percent opened uh, delivered so this is yet to get started so it says it's running so I'll go and click on campaigns again so this is my campaign number two Got prospects so these are the two email IDs we have added so it shows in prospects and to check so what we will do is that we will go into the at pixeltrack.com into the sent items folder and see if the emails have been sent here I am inside my sent items folder and here you can see the email that we set up on woodpucker has now gone out it has gone to Deepak at pixeltrack.in so let me also go ahead and open the packet pixel track dot in and show you the mail that has been received. So here you can see that I am inside uh, the pixel track dot in email ID. So we have two email IDs, one in the dot com domain and one in the dot in domain. And here you can see two Deepak three Deepak at pixel track dot in. And this has been signed by Google Apps SMTP dot com. So that is the sending server, which is Google Apps domain itself. And the email has arrived here. So let's go back to Woodpecker. So back inside Woodpecker, let me go ahead and click on refresh. And here you will be able to see that uh, we have sent out two emails and it says that 50% open rate. So sent out two emails, delivered two emails, 50% open rate because we have opened one email out of it. And it can also track if uh, the email campaigns has been responded to. So this is how Woodpecker works, pretty simple, very similar to Mailshake. So you can try out both, uh, see which one is uh, suiting you better. I personally like the UI of uh, Mailshake better and um, it is like a little bit more clear and uh, well uh, done. So here uh, the price difference is like negligible. Uh, you have uh, $50 a month for Woodpecker and $60 a month for Mailshake. So that's about it for this video. I hope you learned about this tool in this video and I will see you in the next video.